Hello folks, welcome back. So today we're going to uh, get on with the uh, Alenco AM FM radio build and we're going to start on the FM radio section today um, and we're going to do sections 6 and 7 and all the testing that uh, comes out of them. Now I mentioned in the last video that I was going to go and, and check out all of this uh, over the weekend. I did just that. And I checked out every single item, I checked out all the voltages, and everything is fine. So the mystery, mystery kind of continues. I mean, it does work, as if you saw the short video, and I'll, I'll put a link to it up here if you didn't. It does work. I was able to pick up a, a very weak station from 120 miles away, and so it, it, it's working fabulously. But I just don't know why I didn't get some of the same readings and uh, measurements as they, they suggested in the book. But Anyway, we're, we're going to carry on and as usual, I'm going to speed through um, the build portion of it. I just hit upon any items of interest. All right, we'll get started here. Okay, we've got all the boxes ticked off there. <clears throat> and we're gonna go on to do the static measurements and a transistor current test. Connect your volume shown. Switch the AM switch to FM. Set your bomb to nine volts, turn the power on. View the voltage at this point. It should be between seven and nine volts. All right. So we're getting 8.58 and it says between 7 and 9, so that's good. And transistor current tech. Connect your VOM. The circuit is shown in figure 38. Turn the power on. The voltage is the emitter of Q6 should be around 0.7 volts. Point eight six volts. We've got something a little bit higher than what they're saying. What else is new? So, 0.86 VQ6 divided by R22. So that'll give us about 0.86 milliamps. And so we're right in the middle of the range, not to worry. And dynamic measurements okay so let's get our waveform generator and it's got to be hooked up to the base of Q6 And I have that set up as they requested here, a frequency of 10.7 megahertz, currently at an amplitude of two millivolts peak to peak. And um, we have it set the output slot for a high impedance. And uh, yeah, let's continue on. We'll hook up the oscilloscope. That's going to go to, uh, this is test point six.
power is now on. Slowly increase the amplitude of the generator until three divisions or 150 millivolts peak to peak are seen on the scope. Okay, we're almost there already. Um, okay, that's three divisions there. Okay, so yeah, we do indeed have 150 millivolts there, in rough numbers. And uh, now we adjust the T4 to get a peak. Right about there, I think. It's getting us up to 170 millivolts there. And we adjust the uh, generator back down to 150 millivolts. Looks like we're about there. Move the scope probe to the base of Q6 and record the voltage here. Move the scope probe. Basically, read directly what's coming off the generator. And uh, that below my noise floor. But the generator is pretty accurate. It's telling me it's putting out 9.7 millivolts. So I'm going to record that. So here we have a, a gain of 15.46, actually 4.7, rounding it off. Is that approximately 20? I'm going to say it is. Method number two, alignment of radio detector using an RF generator and oscilloscope. I'm going to do it method number two. So let me set up for that and I'll be right back. Okay, so now we've got the uh, instruments attached as shown in figure 40. And uh, we have the RF generator set up as they require 10.7 megahertz modulated at one kilohertz with a 22.5 kilohertz deviation and at minimum voltage, two millivolts again. Turn on the radio and turn the volume control to a minimum. Slowly increase the amplitude of the generator until a one kilohertz sine wave is seen at the scope. And then we start doing the alignment again. And we just uh, T4 for maximum and then T5. Okay, turn the power off. All right, on to section seven. All right, let's get on with the uh, installation and we'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so we finished section seven installation of components and now we're going to do the static test. So Q5 bias, connect your meter to the circuit as shown in 43, 
Turn on the power and the voltage of the base Q5 should be approximately 1.4 volts. Anybody might want to make a bet it won't be? <laughs> okay, here we go. Ah, 1.47. Sometimes you win. All right. On to the dynamic measurement tests. All right, folks, we're all set up to do the dynamic measurements. Um, beginning with AC gain. So let me get the scope on here for you. Now, I've got it all set up here to read at 20 millivolts per division, just so I can get a bigger uh, signal on the screen. It, it really helps me when I'm peaking it, if the signal is a bit bigger. Um, as requested, the function generator set up for 10.7 megahertz, no modulation, two millivolts peak to peak. And we're connected up according to figure 44 with the generator going into test point 10 and the oscilloscope on test point nine. So now we just have to uh, turn it on and turn up the power on the generator until 150 millivolts peak to peak. So let's do that. We're about there, and then tweak three T three for peak. All right, so here we go. Okay, let me turn down the generator. Yeah, it looks like the peak there. Let's see how we get uh, 150 millivolts. Now move the probe to the base of Q five and record the input voltage. All right, we'll. Gingerly move the scope to Q5. So that's uh, it's really about nine, but there's there's noise there. So yeah, I'm gonna call it about seven. I don't think. Um, and that'll give us a AC gain of seven goes into one fifty two one. Yeah, let's call it twenty one point five. Okay, well that's right around what they said. I guess you got to win some of them, right? All right, so we're going to set up for the bandwidth measurements. Be right back for that. Okay, we're back to the way it was in Figure Forty Four with uh, the scope over on test point nine. And uh, I've just left the amplitude on the generator to get us up to 150 right away. So I'm just, I'm just going to turn this on. So let's uh, reduce the frequency uh, until we get down to roughly 2.1 divisions. Oh, it's as close as I can get. So we call that. Uh, 10.46 megahertz. Hmm, I'm gonna have a little bit wider bandwidth than I expect, I guess. Okay, we'll go the other way until it comes back down to where we were there. Get a new average. That's about right there. So uh, that's 11.07. kilohertz. I guess that's not too bad. All right, folks, that's it for today. I'm gonna to come back next time. I'm going to try and wrap it all up. I'm gonna try and do sections eight and nine. We'll see. Thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe, tell all your friends about it, leave a comment, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.